very good morning to dear students today we are going to discuss determiners so the determiners are the words which are used before a noun they describe the noun they tell us about the noun and they also play the role of adjective when they are used with the noun it is it tells about the noun whether it is uh, general or specific category of the noun belongingness of the noun for example an orange this book my shirt etc determinants are of seven types first is articles now articles are of two categories we are again categorized into that is a and an and the a and an is used with the singular noun countable nouns a consonant sounds for a shop it is used with the consonant and an is used with the vowel sounds here i would like to mention that uh, this you need to be very particular about the sounds you will not go for alphabets fine we are not going for vowels for words only but rather for the sounds you should be concerned with the sounds for example the word starting with these alphabets as well as sounds for example this owl owl is starting with o no doubt but this umbrella a you can see umbrella is starting with u an umbrella but you need to be particular about the sounds this word honest man it is starting with h but it is having the sound o so an honest man again exceptional cases like m it is starting with the consonant m but it, it is giving the sound of m m p again l again j useful here you can see it is starting with u but the sound is j then uh, for example university here u is used but it is giving the sound of a uh, umbrella so n will be used here but with j sound it will carry p e. now to denote the class for example a is used to denote a class then a whale is a mammal here a whale it is used for the particular category of the mammals or the creatures a and n they are used with the nationalities religion degree accordingly an indian here it will be and will be used with indian and a hindu when we are using means for example hindu girl if you write hindu girl so then it is adjective fine so for a category particular category an and p a padma shri a particular award a particular title this a is used a is used for denoting weights 50 rupees a dozen means these 50 rupees they stand for they are worth for a dozen 20 miles an hour worth used as a noun for example going for a walk have a bath some verbs when they are used as a noun then this article a is used now about the use of definite art definite article that is the the in itself it is it represents something particular the is used for some particular nouns to add some particularity it is used with the superlative degree the most beautiful girl it is used to specify this is the book you want means you are talking about particular book that this book or this is the book which you want it is used for the designation for the meaning the principle for the title for the 
designations in front of the designation to use the principal, the prime minister, with an adjective to represent a class. The rich, the poor means we are talking about the all rich in a particular area or on earth, we can say in the universe. To particularize the book lying on the table when you are talking about a particular table. Means a particular object, to particularization we use this particular article that is the. When same noun is mentioned in preceding sentence, Ram gave me a book. The book contains very interesting stories. Now see the difference very attentively. In the first sentence, Ram gave me a book. I talk about the book which Ram gave to me. But in the preceding sentence, this the book tells that I am talking about this particular book mentioned in the previous sentence. With the name of the mountains, with the name of the holy books, newspaper and place. Mountains, the Himalayas, the Ganges, the Ramayana, the Hindustan Times, the Ashtabhi, etc. Unique noun like the earth, the earth for some unique nouns which are one only. The earth, the sun, the moon, directions, the east. Then for the whole family's life. When we use this, we know that we all use a surname with our names. And uh, for example, Rohini Sharma. When we say Rohini Sharma, the name is the name is the uh, name of the girl is Rohini and Sharma is the surname. But when I say the Sharma, means I am talking about the particular people belonging to, to that particular caste or the tree. The Sharmas, the Guptas, this like uh, we can use for a whole community. Of some area, countries like the uh, United States of America, when it is singular title for the country, for example, India, I belong to India, not the India. But when it is a unit, this United States of America, United States of uh, Russia, like these, they are, they are the unit one. They are the unit form of some particular state. That's why they are called the United States. They are using use the. Now other type, other types of the determiners, possessives. These possessives they show the belongingness. To my, his, her, their, your. They show possessiveness and can be used with the singular or the plural form. Then there are demonstratives. Demonstrative, they are used to point out some particular person or object. Demonstrative, this girl, that boy, that book, those students, etc. Distributives, distributives are, they are used for the distribution like each, every, either, neither. They talk about each and every person of a particular part or group. Each is used, but here you need to understand. Keep in mind the difference of each and every. Each is used for small number of groups and every is used for the larger number of the groups. Now each student in the, uh, in the class and every citizen. Number and quantity. For number and quantity we use much, many, some, any, little and few. Now difference of these are some particular which sometimes students get confused in these. Much and many. Much is used for the quantity. Much is used with, with, for the abstract noun, which cannot be counted. Counted like in, in number. No, uh, which cannot be weighed. Much is used for the quantity like much happiness, much strength, much love, much knowledge. Fine. It cannot be weighed. Now, Many is used for the numbers, countable nouns. Many students, many boys, many books, many papers, like this. Now let us have a view uh, uh, about these particular determiners, which many times students get confused. Now some and any, some is used for in you know, affirmative sentences, some means which. But there is little difference. 
This N is used for the negative number. Both means. Do you have any books which you are talking about? You are asking. Do you have uh, that if the uh, other person have any books? It is again numbers. It it's concerned with the numbers, but response is expected response or in interrogative sentences in queries showing queries or where you expect the response no there we use any sum and any can be used both for the countable and uncountable but it gives the sum give the positive or the affirmative sense and any give the query interrogative sense now little a little and the little and the same are Q, R Q, and W. Same rule we follow. This little is called again uncountable. Little knowledge, little money. When this little and Q are used without any determiner, then they means negative. Almost none. They mean almost none. He has little money. He is not as much expected. They have few visitors, means almost none. When they are having a uh, an article like a, a little, a few, then it means some. Naturally, for countable, it is a few friends, and a little money means he has a little money. He can purchase that book. It tells that he has a little money. And with that, he can purchase books. That is sufficient to purchase. Now, the use of the with the little and the few. Again, the itself you know that it is used for particular sense. Particular sense means the little you are talking about, the few you are talking about. Now, the main use of few and little will be same, but with the articles. The, it their use will be different now the few means you are talking about the few students you are talking about the few student friends who came to help him where he is were his few friends it means the few friends who came to help him you are talking about those few friends only the few friends who means here it is this relative pronoun is used it is telling about those students who came to Help him. The same way, he was able to handle the situation with the little money he had. This he had. This part of the sentence tells about the money he had. So somewhere the structure of the sentence is also not simple, and you can come to know that with the preceding sentence that it is somewhere relating to the particular particular noun mentioned before. And then the few friends who came to help him. It is talking about the friends who came. It is talking about the money he had. So you need not to be confused. Rather, you should be clear that without article, few and little means nominative. It is little is uh, negative. They give negative response, and a little means some, and the little means particular some. This should be clear to you. So. We should be very much clear about these concepts and be particular when you use them. Thank you. Very much.